I enjoy some of the old and I enjoy the new and if I can find a balance between it that's where I, where I find my satisfaction. What's up guys, thanks for tuning in to the iTip Report. My name is Ava Ani, hope all is well with you. So today I have 10 more records that I'm ecstatic to show you. This is from my personal collection. Uh, the difference is with these records, these are sentimental values. So I definitely want you to take a look. Yes. So my first record that I have for you is yes, Tribe Called Quest. This is Hits, Rarities, and Remix. Um, it's pretty much rare remixes and tunes that you probably can't find of Tribe Called Quest. As everybody should know or may not know, I'm definitely a Tribe baby. Um, and I was honored to actually do, um, put together a Dilla tribute, me and my business partners, the Smooth Operators Movement in 2010, if I'm not mistaken. Rest in peace to one of my business partners, Metaphysics. He was uh, responsible for us getting together, but um, when we actually we actually did two Dilla tributes. So when we did those Dilla tributes, um, the second one we had Q-Tip, Illa J, and um, T3. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna be meeting Q-Tip. This is honorary for me to actually put help put a bit of event together. Excuse me. And um, I said, you know what, I'm going to bring this record for him to sign and so forth. I made that quest and he graciously signed my record. So as you can see, that's the sign. Q-Tip signed that part. So this is definitely a gem. Um, I am very regretful uh, to a certain extent because I had the opportunity for Fife to sign this and I just was so busy that I, I didn't um link up to get to get him to sign it but I wish I would but rest in peace to Fife hopefully I'll be able to get Ali to sign it but this is a gem and um yes I'll definitely be hanging this on my wall and I'll definitely do a more um in-depth review on this a revival review actually excuse me so the next thing I have is speaking of Dilla tributes um, when I put the, uh, me and my team, like I said, we put the Dilla tribute together in 2010. I incorporated Ella J. Ella J is J Dilla's brother. J Dilla is one of my favorite producers. And this is Ella J's album, The Yancey Boys. This is my favorite, like super, super favorite Ella J, um, project. I love this. And I'm definitely going to be doing a review on it. But this is when I first met Ella J. And for some of you guys who may not know, I used to manage Ella J. And um, for the most part, this is from, I, I would say from that this night when I did the Dilla tribute, this is where it all started. We are still uh, good friends. Uh, we're like brothers and sisters. And shout out to Ella J if you see this, as well as his manager. And, um, yes, this is one of my prized possessions, and I really, really love this album. So, yes, this is it. And, you know, as always, everybody know me as the Ellis publicist, so he wrote that. And, um, he wrote about me being a manager, so it was dope. And this is actually a gift, so this is a gift from my best friend, but, um, how ironic, you know, we do a, a Dilla tribute in Ella J's in it. So shout out to Ella J. My next project that I don't really talk about that much, but some of you guys, I don't think a lot of people know because I don't really talk about it unless you follow me on social media. This is Kev Brown presents um, Hassan Mackey, The Grip Project. Uh, for some of you who may not know, I was the project manager of this project. I'm proud of this project. It has it has my name on it as well as everybody else. I pushed to get this project out. I pretty much bust my ass to just make everything happen. Great video. You know, they did the rest. They're very talented. And um, I typed the cred <laughs> the credits on the back. Just very hands-on. And um, this is actually my first vinyl pro project. Excuse me. So if you see um, the credits, that's my name, my full name. 
Avaani Tamara Lawrence, project manager. So you see, that's the credits. If you ever get it, it is really a dope project. And for some of you guys who may not know, I used to manage uh, Kev Brown and um, as well as this project. So I pretty much resigned from that. I definitely will be doing a story time for, for this project. It's a, it's a lot of hard work, as you can see in this project but it's also a lot of contradictions and stuff and one day I will you know tell my story on how I feel about this project because it was brutal for me as a woman and a person but anyway this is sentimental it is a part of my portfolio project manager okay next vinyl I have is the original most uh, picture soundtrack school days. This is not even open. I think I actually took this from my sister because I was like You're yeah, not listening to it. <laughs> it's not open. I thought it was dope. I haven't seen anybody with it um, Love Spike Lee. He's from Brooklyn. I'm from Brooklyn. Love school days um, Love the movie. The movie was the truth. A lot of good points in it and um yeah every time i actually think of this i also think of Nike wanted too because he did like pretty much a spin-off branding of this so yep this is my prize possession i haven't seen anybody with this like i said and i'm just happy to own it uh the next one another spike lee joint i had to get this this is she gotta have it uh love this movie i think it's funny it's pretty much <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm definitely gonna do a vinyl review on all these. But this is. I love this movie. I love the cover. I haven't seen anybody with this as well. And uh, yeah, she gotta have it. Love the movie. Spike Lee can't do me no wrong. And I thought she was a really good actress. I wish she would have. Um, you know, gone a while. Uh, one of my favorite movies as a kid. This is The Wiz. I love The Wiz. Diana Ross, Michael Jackson, uh, Lena Horne. The... This is not even open at all. Definitely will be doing a vinyl review. <laughs> the original Wiz is the best to me. I like to be seen. Green. Oh, I used to watch this a lot of kids. So to get the vinyl, very ecstatic. Love it. And I haven't seen anybody with this. So... It's definitely love it from childhood. One of my favorites, and this is what started all of it, was Molly Mall. This is when I found this. I was like, oh my god, my favorite is the Symphony. Look at the crew on there. Woo! Yes, this is so much. It's it's a part of my life as a kid. It's epic. You can't go wrong. I definitely wish hip hop was like this. Uh, Molly Mall in Control Volume 1 prize collection of mine. Yes, I got this at a flea market in the city. Uh, my next vinyl is from no other than Sade. I love everything about Sade. I've been listening to her since I was a kid, I think I was like seven years old. And this is one of my Sade albums. My favorite uh, Sade album is Love Deluxe. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting that vinyl. But yes, this is... She can't do me no wrong. If I had to meet anybody, it was definitely like an artist that I really wanted to meet. If somebody asked me, it would be Sade. Love her. Um, and she's the only artist that could come out with a project every 10 years. My other favorite group as well is De La Soul, my buddy. Love this cover. This is not even open either. I think this is more of a promo. I think when you see that, it's usually a promo. And love De La Soul. Love De La Soul. This is a definitely classic album if you don't have it. I have seen a lot of people with this. And um, I don't think it's hard to find, but I'm happy that I have it and it's not open. And my last record that I have, which was a gift from a label, this is House Shoes. I like House Shoes stuff. I think he's dope when it comes to his music and DJing. This is House Shoes Presents King James Version. 
chapter one verses one and four i definitely be doing a vinyl review on this oh my goodness i was this is something i really want and i got it as a gift so shout outs to house shoes and yeah those are my 10 sentimental um uh, vinyls so i hope you enjoy please like this video please subscribe and definitely see me on the next um video and don't forget guys turn on your notifications and uh i hope you enjoy please tell me what video video <laughs> please tell me what vinyl that you liked out of this collection my second part of my collection and um I see you next time. Peace.